That's good to know, Ted. Armor Rickman. I missed him. He got mad. He was angry. He was mad at me, and I don't know why. Maybe because I found his back toy a little useless. Valhalla! Can't get in? What? What? What do you mean I can't get in? Open the door! Oh, oh, I have to open the side of the door for Barry. Forgot about you, Barry. Sorry. Completely forgot about you. I was too busy staying alive. Staying alive. Hmm. But yeah, it's been a good hour already, and I'm hoping the recording will work. Because it worked for long, it worked for about 45 minutes already, and it went perfectly. Just hoping it works for an hour and goes perfectly. Oh, look at that! I can climb a ladder. Who knew? All right, Barry. It's probably gonna be an epic yeah. showdown before we can go. So that's not Barry. Here we are. Uh, Al? Is that you out there, I had buddy? to find a key. <laughs> yeah, it's me. Hang on. I'll try to find a key to get the door open. Nope, I'm a taken, buddy. That was freaky. Hit flickering lights. Ever since his experience with the flickering light at Come on, uh, my school, seriously, I don't like seriously, it was uh, it was just after a, a Little Shop of Horrors um, rehearsal, and I was outside waiting in the rain and all that for my pops to come pick me up, and he didn't, uh, he wasn't there as early as I thought, and so I'm sitting there under a tree in the rain, and all of a sudden I see a light. On the oh, on the other side of a gate for the school because I'm out in the parking lot area, uh, start flickering, and at the time I'm reading the books Aliens Steal Egg. If you guys haven't read that? I highly suggest you do. It's a very terrifying, intense book about the Alien series, and it's great. Checkpoint reached. Look at this. This is awesome. The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Fuse box is upstairs. There's going to be something up there waiting for me, Barry. It's okay. I got 10 flares and 30 of my pump action shotgun bullets. I thought the Andersons were on the booby edge. Manuscript. Yeah. I don't think they keep too close an eye on them at the clinic. They seem to slip away a lot so they can get wasted. No kidding! Those guys sound all Yeah, yeah. This is a nice house. Can you hear that, Al? Music? Of course. We need to find where it's coming Old from. Old gods know That's the truth. That's the message the Andersons talked about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? That's gotta be... What's your face? The crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right. Must be. Here we go. Okay? We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. 
Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. Look at that. What the hell? Yeah, evil darkness creatures trying to kill us all. What are we gonna do? We're gonna get hammered! I'm sorry about that. No, seriously, because I, I know we don't get along, but we're gonna find her, right? And even though you're a crazy bastard, I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, you're like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And, and they'd be the best books that year. No, you... Couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. Of course. <laughs> He's passed out on the floor. Oh no, I'm a ghost. Damn it. Guys, I'm a ghost. It was a crazy drunken dream. And yet, it was more than that. My POV is the Alan? truth. A suppressed Heck memory yeah, I am. by the Anderson's moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls. The night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what POV. had happened. I remembered being surprised to see... First person Alan Wake? Wake? That'd be terrifying. Alice would never turn the lights off. Man, that moonshine those guys make, they give you the craziest hallucinations. I remember thinking, I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. <sighs> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice! Jagger had Alice, Alice. and so she had me. Alice! I'd been easy prey. Look at I see a shadow in front of me. Alice? There she is. Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. things she wanted you to write I will tell you what to do
You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Yes. All right. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zeng was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my armor a long time ago. She looks so old. I had woken up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Well, that's not good. <sighs> this has been Mr. Blue with Alan Wake, and I'm going to check in with uh, Faison right now to see if we can do some Resident Evil 5. Uh, see y'all later. Now the muse she was is happiness and he